Welcome to Sock Puppet Physics! Today's lesson is in... Free Body Diagram! Free Body Diagram? FPV! <laughs> so you take this situation where you have an object. You have an object and you replace constraints like table. You have a table here. Ah! So you have the table and you have somebody's hand pushing on the block. Okay. So when you use free body diagram, you take away the constraints like the free, like the table and the hand. You just take them away? Yes. But you don't just take them away, you take them away and replace them with forces. Forces. Wow. Forces. Yes. So now you have weight, the force of the hand, and the force of the table. Now, whenever you draw a free body diagram, be sure to take 20 seconds, or I don't know, even three minutes to look at your free body diagram. Enjoy it. Nod to yourself that you did such a great job. High five yourself even. And be and congratulate yourself before moving on. And once you are done with your free body diagram, then you can move on to the next step, which is sum of force equations. Tell me how that works. Well, you see, forces are going in multiple directions. There's force of the hand going that way, but these two forces... Ah, no! These two forces are going in the same axis. So you sum forces going along the same axis. And then you set them equal to mass times acceleration, because Newton's law says force is equal to mass times acceleration. Newton like the old guy Newton? Newton like the big Newton. <laughs> now sometimes your, your block will not move in that said direction, and that is because acceleration is zero. And if that's the case, then the force is will be equal to zero. But sometimes they'll move with said acceleration. And so you take the block, the mass of your object, and multiply it by your acceleration. And then that's how you use free body diagrams. Wow, yay! yay.